guess it's live. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I whistle them again. I got two black eyes. I'm just exhausted. So. <sighs> okay, so what happened today <clears throat> was 2 a.m., so yesterday. Oh, was just ridiculous. And I don't know why I'm acting like I'm surprised. Like I was expecting something like this from. Herminius, because obviously Amber, she's not able to do it herself, so she has to send somebody. And you know what? In all in all fairness, <clears throat> we're doing what we're doing. Um, she's free to do what she's doing. The thing that it bothers me is that it's not about criticizing Tug and other people on YouTube and having actually a point and feeling, you know, hurt and having a point. No. If Barlow, Fartlow, is about let's just get a petition because she has done, I mean, there, I mean, there's just, a, it's kind of sad, but there's like 1,600 um, signatures. But anyway, it's not enough. It's not enough. I'm not worried. We're not worried. But the fact that she opened a petition to stop, to take down um, that Umbrella Guy channel and other people as well, um, I think... I'm not sure, but we know, we know the people, the, the other big ones. But she has a mainly for Tug, and she always had a problem with Tug. Now that after it was aired uh, during the trial, the Tug was communicating with Adam Woolman, with a lawyer, of course now she's going to have it for Tug even more. And the thing is, like, what she did today, what she did yesterday was so dirty, and she has been reported Eve Barlow has been reported on Twitter because you know, like, if you don't want to show your face or your name as that umbrella guy, and I'm not gonna say his name, even if we all know his name now, I don't want to say his name because he really doesn't want us to say the name uh, or his wife's name or anything. So I'm gonna keep saying Tug. So what Eve, Eve Barlow did is not only, I mean, it's not illegal, but it's very unethical, but it, very dirty and very shady because when somebody is on, you know, YouTube or, oh my God, look at this. I'm not trying to do the Amber Heard hair. I'm just not doing anything. So it is what it is. It, it laid the way late. Um, <laughs> um, you know, for Eve, for Eve Barlow to just get on YouTube, on Instagram on, and Twitter, and say um, the umbrella guy, real name, and post a picture of him and his age. And uh, he said that the address was online. I didn't even look for the address because that really definitely don't want to add views or 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 you know or search to that. Um, I don't think. I mean, I think it matters. I think it's really important, but I don't want to add to that. The point that she posted his picture and his real name. Even if, even if their name was kind of known, but it was his decision to have his name hidden or not. And now he doesn't even have control over that because Eve and Amber, I shouldn't say, Eve and mostly Amber decided that they're going to throw a tantrum because things are not going their way. So, so losers united, they cannot, they just cannot. Also, it's not a coincidence that this is happening two days before they're back in court. Um, Judge Penny actually brought them. Is she? She brought them back in court, but back to court in the twenty fourth. I'm sorry, allergies. Um, so this cocaine I've been doing. <laughs> yeah, because I like Manson, so I like cocaine and black things and cold houses. Anyway. I must be an abuser like big time. Um, it, it's just, it is not a coincidence. The timing is so, so, so spot on. Uh, we know she's broke. We know that she doesn't have the money to pay. I do believe that Johnny has such a good heart that I won't be surprised if he waives the, the payment. And I won't be mad if he does that. I don't think none of us that care about him are so arrogant to like, be like, oh, I can't believe he did that. If he does that, it's just out of the goodness of his heart and his soul, then I think it's cool. I want her to pay, but she might not. 
Emily D. Baker on uh, her channel today, yesterday, was saying something. Oh my God, her life was so long, but it was awesome. Not, it was awesome, long and awesome. And she talked about so many different cases, not just, you know, the Amber her and JD thing, but she says something interesting of the, to the kind of like, well, she doesn't really have to go back to court. Um, they can just do like a civil you know, kind of settle, settlement, like type of thing that like Michael Jackson did before with his victims, which they were not real. Um, so she she can really claim bankruptcy and get away with not paying him. But with all the BS that she's been out there saying and her lawyer um, and there's interviews, so-called interviews, Johnny and his team can easily say, well, you know what? The one thing you admitted in court, you in court, you admitted that old pit was about him. And that's the one thing that now you're taking back. So you pretty much are shitting on the jury pretty much in a very vague, sus way. You're saying the jury did not know what they're talking about. The, the jury got it wrong. That's pretty much what you're saying. And I'm not a lawyer. Of course not. But there's some... Um, there is a limitation of, for example, okay, if I was, right, if I go to court and, um, you know, against anybody and my ex or whatever, or, or the father of my children, whatever, which, which I like, we don't have any beef, but let's pretend that we do. And I win in the case and I say, well, the sky is blue, okay? And then the jury goes like, you know, the sky wasn't blue, you're a liar then I can't go out there and go on TV and say, well, the sky was blue because I already lost something that the jury already decided on. So what Amber is doing is, um, I'm not saying it's illegal, but it's not really smart because he, she is pretty much shitting on the jury and on the judge and the whole state of Virginia. Um, and they're probably not happy about it. But anyway, that's not news. We know she's been doing that for a while. Okay, so the thing about yesterday that it was just crazy, and everybody on YouTube is talking about it. Um, Eve Bala opening this petition. Hold on, I'm just had it right here. Opening this petition. Um, sign, you know, go and sign it if you want YouTube to be demonetized, especially Tug. Go be part of the change. Um, it is, it is just so dumb and it's not right. And actually it goes, it goes it, it against the whole thing about freedom of speech. It's so ironic and it's so, it's dumb to even say it out loud. So Eve is out there, uh, Amber's Manian, her and somebody else talking about how we have to watch our back. We cannot talk, you know, Tug cannot talk about what he wants to talk about because it's just hate. So he cannot use his voice to voice his own opinion because Amber and Eve Barlow thinks that's hate. But when it comes to Amber having uh, you know, her voice and her voice was silent, silent after the jury and now she feels that she can have a voice, she cannot have a voice anymore and all that. Freedom of speech and um, in America and the Greeks, you know, that's stuff that she said on the interview. We get it from the Greeks. All right. Um, all the stuff that she was actually fighting for so hardcore, not, not actually during the trial, but also after the trial in those interviews, that's the stuff that her bully friend or ex-girlfriend of uh, girlfriend in the present time is actually bullying Tug about and people on YouTube. The one thing, the one, the one thing for reals that she was fighting this whole time, the Amber was fighting this whole time to get this whole freedom of speech, why can I just, it's my opinion, it's my story, I can go tell my story. Well, Tug, anybody else on YouTube can say, this is my story, I can go tell my story. I am free to make a living in any way that I want unless I'm not hurting anybody. When Eve Barlow went on Twitter, and I'm going to read it now, of course, it's known, but I'm, I, just, I just got here and I needed to do something because I need to get this out of my system. And also don't go and sign anything. Well, yeah, sign the petition. Uh, do not get him removed but um, it's kind of tricky if you see one and you link on it it might be eves so try not to sign that one 
I don't think nobody will sign on purpose, but it's kind of tricky the way it's worded. So she posted this yesterday. She said, keep writing about it. Keep YouTubing. It's a new verb, I guess. YouTubing about it. The gift is never ending for your paid diggers, gold diggers. Click here, Daily Mail, smash the like, page six, retweet, DMZ, New York Post. What in New York? Why should you include that? Anyway, to your inbox, hashtag no pain, no gain. A woman's pain is your gain. She's saying that to Tug and pretty much to anybody on YouTube. Um, like the big guys, not me, but I don't. Uh, big guys and big women. I don't understand this whole thing. Like, it, again, this is freedom of speech. And Amber, I thought you were all for it. So, you know, everyone you would. Uh, they're all for freedom of speech and expressing themselves and telling my story and my voice. But then when we say something about it, or Manson or Johnny or uh, Johnny's lawyers or whatever, then it's not freedom of speech anymore. Um, it doesn't just work one way, Evan. Rachel Wood and uh, Amber and Eve. It doesn't work one way. It's a path, okay? It's a it's a back and forth. If you read the Constitution, you know, like I always say, freedom of speech it does not protect you after the fact. It doesn't protect you against perjury. And this that Eve Barlow has been doing on Twitter is pretty much perjury. I'm not a lawyer, but I'm saying, talking about uh, the umbrella guy, in the way she's talking about and saying, well, we know where he lives. He was, uh, we think that he, no, we think this lady pretty much said that he got fired from his last job because he was harassing somebody and they were going to go for his children and they have his address. They already give his real name, which I'm not going to repeat because he doesn't want us to use his real name. Real name. And that was so shady and so messed up. And it's a harassment. So I was thinking if I was him, or anybody close to him. What about send Eve um, Barlow and Amber, but mostly Eve, a cease and desist letter? You know, the cease, cease and desist letter is, you're not gonna go to jail, we're not gonna press charges, but you have to stop talking about us right now. And then anybody on YouTube will have the decision to either fight the cease and desist letter or take the orders and stop talking about her, which is not gonna happen. <laughs> right? Everybody's going to keep talking about her. And all she's doing is making him more famous. If he was already famous to me, now he's ex exploded out there because all he, all, all he is now is out there. And for the right reasons. She's trying to smear his name. She's trying to smear everybody else. She's trying to just go on Emily D. Baker. She's trying to go on Popcorn Planet. She's really, like, she's really is grasping for straws right there. And she's committing the one thing that her girlfriend was, uh, the jury said, I mean, you committed perjury. So now Eve, are you on Twitter committing perjury? Saying that Tug lost his job. The Tug is a loser. But how can he make, make, how can he make a living out of women pain? How can you set that? Like, how can you really set that? Even if you don't like him, you don't have to watch him. But you can just say, like I'm saying, send him a cease and desist letter and ask him to not talk about you anymore, which is not going to work because he's going to talk. But I'm saying, like, there's all the ways to do it. I don't think that he, I don't think that Eve really wants Tug to stop talking about Amber. Um, it's it's not what she really wants. I don't think that Eve Barlow cares so much about Ember anymore. It's just pretty much getting him down, taking him down because they've been trying to do this since like 2018. And now is a perfect time to talk about this because they're going to court tomorrow. They're going back to court tomorrow. Another thing with Elaine, wasn't Elaine, um, Elaine supposed to do um, Bubblehead, Bubblehead Elaine? Um, and she was booked to do an interview with Court TV, which is a big, big deal. Um, I didn't watch Court TV. I was watching the trial with other um, YouTube people and just kind of giving them the views. I'm not going to give Court TV a view. But anyway, sometimes it was okay. 
sometimes core TV is, is, is actually helpful when it comes to the transcript and stuff like that, a little details that you might miss if you're watching it with other people. Anyway, so Elaine had an interview with Court TV, which is a big deal, and she didn't show up. And I heard from people talking, it's probably, probably true, <laughs> people talking, it's probably true, that she was in trouble and um, she was just not able to show up. And that was a big interview, probably because either her boss and the firm, I mean, she's the boss of you know, her own firm, but maybe Ember or maybe somebody else, her team said, hey, don't go, don't do the court TV interview, especially when you're about to go to court again um, tomorrow. And you're about to, you know, be in front of Judge Penny and Judge Penny has been watching this stuff. There's no way that the judge was not informed of Ember out there committing perjury again against the jury and against the whole state of Virginia or at least that courthouse. So Elaine has to feel, I'm not saying she feels guilty. I don't think she feels any guilt. Elaine is choosing who to represent. Um, and she chose the wrong person to represent, whatever. Everybody has to do that job. Somebody got to represent the devil, you know, somebody got to represent OJ Simpson. I don't know. It's a job. But also the job should end there. Like Rottenborn, Rottenborn is nowhere. He's not out there giving interviews. I'm not saying I like him, but I, I for sure I like his approach so much better. Uh, that the thing about them, um, the thing about Elaine giving interviews is really it is is working against Ember. And in a way, if I was Ember, I'd be like, what the F are you doing? Like seriously, like just but you can see that Ember doesn't see it that way, because then when he, she went and sat down for the N NBC um interview with Samantha, the attorney. An interview, interview person that was doing the interview, she was doing the same shit and saying the same copy and paste speech that Elaine was saying before the last two weeks. So obviously they don't care. Obviously they don't think there's nothing wrong with it. And I would say Eve Barlow, Fartlow, doesn't know. And that is a really cute little name. I mean, we can be calling her way worse things. I mean, no, Fart. And I won't be so offended. Anyway, she has a stick up her butt. So if I'm sorry, I'm ranting because I am really tired. So when I'm tired, I go like, and it's my ADD, all right? So it is what it is. Eve, keep writing about it. Keep YouTubing about it. The gift is never ending for you gold diggers, YouTubers. Click hate, Daily Mail, smash the like, page C, retweet TMZ. I think she's trying to rap. She's trying to like, do a rhyme, I don't know. And then she said, hashtag no pain, no gain. A woman's pain is your gain. That's what she said, that's what she posted. And she hasn't deleted it yet. And then she posted again, this is all yesterday. She said, do you know who owns Amber Heard.net and Eve Barlow.net? And then she said, talk's name, which I'm not gonna say, cause he doesn't, I'm not gonna say it. That umbrella guy, YouTuber, grifter, disinformation spreader, and misogynist, misogynist pig bully. His hatred is obsessional and he's making millions out of it. That was another tweet. Um, then to that, um, I almost said the name. Tug responded not to Eve, but he just posted something of the sorts of, I have no idea what you're talking about. I didn't open those websites. Eve Barlow.net, Amber Heard.net. I don't own them. I don't know what you're saying. Stop. Like it was an insult and it was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, and then the thread was just like gigantic messages of not hate, but of honesty towards Eve. Kind of like, leave this guy alone. He's making a living. He's not doing anything to you, physical or personal or nothing. He's not, he's not really saying more than calling you fart low. That's all he's doing, really, towards Eve. So it's not worth it to have an open petition to get him out of YouTube. It's really freaking stupid. And the only thing, she is going to look like a fool. Because even if they're having signatures, um, they got about 2,000 signatures. It's nothing, if you think about it. None of us are worried, right? My cat is not worried. Lily, are you worried? 
a bike pug? No, we're not. We're not. Um, anyway, so she asked, do you know who owns Amber Heard that net? Um, so the paranoia is showing, okay? And then she posted again this. And I thought this one was interesting. And I stand with Amber Heard. I stand with Amber Heard, the hashtag. Okay, but, uh, but, but you know, everybody's free to hashtag their mom and their dog if they want to. But a woman's pain is your gain, gold digger, your grifter. Uh, she didn't say monster, but she might as well have said that. And then she posted this. This is all like a manic, crazy on Red Bull posting from Eve. Because this all happened in like uh, 17 minutes or something like that. It was just crazy. Sorry. Uh, Johnny Depp fans like when women die. That's why they're sending so many death threats. So we, I don't know, we're fans, followers, defenders. We like when women die. That's why we're sending so many threats. It's a lie. Uh, I will never send a death threat. I didn't even look. I don't even say Amber Turd. I don't even hashtag that because it's not effective. It's not. And also it's, it's used against us. This is when, when it comes to Manson and Ever Rachel Wood, I am not going to tag offensive, even if I think it's funny, things against Evan because I know that it's going to be used against, we are, all the social media is going to be used against Manson. So I try to keep it, keep it light um, and keep it effective in talking about who Rachel Wood is without calling her names. And I'm not trying to be the nice goody goody here. But I think, like I said, I think it's not effective to hashtag Evan Rocha Wood is a liar or Evan Rocha whore or Evan Rocha weird is a freak and all that. I'm not going to do it. But instead, Johnny Depp fans like when women die. That's why they send so many death threats to me. And then she posted, really fucking weird day to be on the internet, huh? Really fucking weird day to be on the internet. She started this whole thing. Why is she going on this a weird day to be on the internet? Yeah, go home. Close your iPad and just close your Chromebook and just go get some freaking air. You know, go get, go to, the, go be a hipster. That's what she is. She's really, she's making fun of Tug and how he chose to make a living and how he chose to get paid for what he does. Sell that work. What he does. He's like, he works so freaking hard and she's making fun of him. Um, but what if she does really for a living? What if her Eve Barrow does besides being the girlfriend of Amber? Well, who is she? She calls herself a journalist and an activist. Don't you love that? And of course, a bisexual person, a queer person. I am so down with that. I mean, I'm not trying to hate. I've, I'm, I'm just half of my friends are gay, so I'm not trying to hate, but my friends don't use their gayness as a weapon. They don't. They're just people first and then they're gay after. So this whole thing with Evan and Amber and Eve and all these people using the bisexuality as a weapon as they are some kind of like saints. They're Joan of Arcs of sexuality. They're better than me because they are gay. Um, it's so much bullshit. I can't stand it. And also, they didn't invent it. They didn't invent the, the, the fluid um, queerness, you know, David Bowie was before Prince. I don't know. I can think of a lot of people that that, that make this big and open um, Madonna and open doors for um, LGBT community. And those people that happened in the sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties. It was not done by Evan Rachel Wood or by Amber Heard. But that shows you the level of just the narcissism and how they think it's all about them. They invented everything. They did. Amber Heard invented riding horses. She did. Okay, so really fucking weird day to be on the internet. Okay, we like women when they die, so we send in death threats. That's what she said, allegedly. What a waste of time this is. What a waste of space. What a waste of energy on Twitter. Anyway. Keep writing about it. Keep YouTubing about it. Um, a woman's pain is your gain. You know, she's insulting Tug right there. And she's putting that umbrella guy. So she is insulting him. Because when you put Grifter and all that next to his name, next to his real name, it is it's worth a season the cease letter. I think you should do it. 
That would be rich if he does that. It would be cool. It will it will teach her a lesson. I don't know. I don't know. It's not up to up. I'm just saying. If I knew him, I would say like, yo, sense of the seas and the seas. Letter. And those usually might not shut the person up, but at least there's a there's proof that something was done. Um and nobody sent signed that petition, please. <laughs> Um, Eve's petition because she made it in a way that is kind of that um, it might be confusing and people might think is a petition to keep uh, Tug on YouTube it might get confusing and you might sign it but it's not it's a petition to get him out which is so freaking shady and evil um, then she said oh I'm going to Evan I'm going to make another video about the insanity that everyone would post on her Instagram for Father's Day. Hating on anybody that you could because it's all about Father's Day is about her. She's a woman, but Father's Day is about her. So I'm gonna do a video, not not like this, but a video, a real video um, that I can copy from myself and not be all hyper and ADD about it. Of just they will consist on just the stupid stuff that Evan posts on her Instagram. How just dumb it is. Okay, and then this one. It says Eve Pablo Twitter. Um, and all this is dedicated to Tug and YouTube in general, to the, the online journalism, which it is what it is, especially on Tug's channel. Like, this guy is the leader. This guy, this guy. I wouldn't know that Ember was not guilty um, if it wasn't for Tug. I wouldn't know that Ember was guilty. I wouldn't know anything. I wouldn't know if it wasn't for him. So we all owe him a you know a lot and um i know he's not the only one but he is the boss you know and he's the one that puts so much work and there's time that he's away from his family in order just to be on his channel and give you all give all of us free content the, the least thing we can do is sign that freaking petition um on his favor not like he needs it but i think it's a good message to do then if barlow Next Twitter from Eve, it says, there's a difference between being a controversial public figure and attracting organic hate. Never heard of that before, organic hate. As a consequence of having the freedom to use your own voice, but being controversial public figure and attracting coordinated hate, conspiracy people are nothing and losing the freedom to your voice. So she's very much saying that it's okay for Amber to attract hate, but it's not okay for you know what Tug is doing and what YouTube is doing because we're just trying to silence Ember. Everybody's trying to silence Ember. The jury was trying to take her voice away. We're trying. Everybody's doing, everybody's doing that. So there's a difference between being a controversial public figure and attracting organic hate as a consequence of having the freedom to use your voice. But it's different to be a controversial public figure, so Tug, right? And attracting coordinated hate and of nothing and losing the freedom to your voice which he's trying to say that he's gonna lose his freedom of his voice come on now okay this one is so dumb and like how old are you eve this one says also from yesterday i have a hate name that was invented by these people let me fight my fight she's referring to the name the nickname Fart Low, Stano Barlow, the tug, and all the people call her. Um, I, I don't care. I don't. I think it's funny. And a fart is not the worst thing people can call you, all right? Um, so she posted, I have a hate name that was invented by these people. Let me fight my battles. Oh my gosh. Like, really? Did, there's all the problems in the world. Like, we don't want to talk about Amber anymore. I'm tired. I want to talk about Manson and all the things, but. She just pulls it back in, you know, as a godfather reference. Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Seriously, like she just put, she doesn't want to let go. Um, uh, okay, I never heard about organic hate before. So I guess she's saying that it's okay for Amber to be hated in an organic way. 
Um, but it's not okay what Tug is doing because it's dirty and he's making money. And oh, how dare him being, first of all, how dare him being a man? How dare him make money? How do his work? I don't know, man. I never heard of that before, but Amber thinks it's a bad thing to do. I don't know. Um, okay, she has a hate name. Okay, this is the next one. I'm taking forever now. My Instagram posts currently have 20,000. I don't know about this, but my Instagram posts 20, uh, currently have 20,000 hate comments underneath them. I get hate messages that wish for me to be bottled R. I ain't going to say the word, but it's the word that implies sexual assault. Somebody is sending her messages. I don't think this is true. Wishing her to be bottled R. This is a reference to the bottle incident that, that is BS anyway. So somebody is sending, I don't, I don't care. If somebody's doing that, they need to stop. That's just gross and that's not effective. And that's only giving these people ammunition to talk bad about everybody on YouTube. But come on. Okay. I don't have to explain to people why I care, but I do. It's sad, period. Don't get me started on people who decide to participate in the click debate of it all. And then she says, this is personal. This is all manic, manic posting in one day. All right. I think this was the last one that she posted for now. Um, it reads, I'm tired of people guarding me off on being so tied up to this case. I've been tied up to this case for a long time. I've been trolled and harassed and objectified by Johnny Depp's online actors. It is personal. Please stop telling me to get over with and jump to other things. It's not that simple. So she's probably saying, it's not that simple. I'm tied up to the case. I'm, you know, I'm riding the Amber, the Amber's wave. Probably Amber is paying for her apartment or flat, not penthouses anymore. Probably similar than a penthouse. I won't be surprised if it's rent free. Um, this doesn't make Amber a victim of Eve, but I'm saying it. This is a weird ass relationship. So she said, I'm tired of people warning me off of being so tied up to this case and to Amber. I've been tied to this case for a long time. Troll and harass by Johnny Depp online actors. I don't know what is that about. It's personal. Please stop telling me to get on with my life. It's not that simple. And then she said that she feels bad that she has a nickname invented by YouTube. And she feels that it's very offensive. Um, I don't know. Being accused of rape and, oh shoot, I said the word. Being accused of, of doing that is not offensive. Like, are you going to throw a tantrum because somebody said Eve fart low? Come on, and put the word fart in front of your name? My God, really? Grow up. Like, that is not that bad. That is almost like endearing. That's not that bad. Um, then she said, you two grifters making millions at the expense of a woman they harass and dehumanize. You two must demonize, demonize, de, de, yeah, demonize and target a target. A cash is so hard to read this thing. Of oh, I hate Twitter. This is what I hate. Freaking Twitter. It's like it's worse than Reddit. Like it's bad. You two must demonetize target harassment and bullies. No one should make millions. Of a delivery causing of cause of harm, no one should profit from misogyny and pain. No one should profit from misogyny and pain. And then she um, she posted she she hashtag I stand with Amber Heard and she didn't hashtag that umbrella guy, but we know that she's talking about that. I really think that he should send a cease and desist letter. Anyway. Um, so she wants YouTube to pretty much shut him down. I don't know who else, but she posted on her list was Emily D. Baker, which I think she's so badass. I love her. And then, um, somebody else, uh, yeah, Lone, yeah, Lone Lumber. And then, um, the real Laura B. And then at the top of the list was Tug. So she wants everybody to be getting you know shutting down because talking about having freedom of speech and spoken your mind without really being violent because I never heard I, I didn't hear I didn't hear Tug saying anything more than third 
or like something like that, or Eve Fartlow, or calling calling them. He doesn't call them names. He doesn't thread him. This is this is her just exaggerating and just like trying to get change the narrative because you know they're really pissed off. They're really pissed off because they have no control over the narrative anymore. The jury took the control away from Ember, and that's why they're mad. It's more about that and not as much as about winning or losing because Ember cares so much about her public persona, and this has to be a nightmare for her. Um, this is where she cares more. She cares she cares more about this than the money. I really think so. So being dragged um, through the mud, which I never done, and being called names and all that, um, it's probably way worse than uh, having no money to pay. Anyway, so yeah, there are a bunch of grifters and making millions at the expense of women's pain. Women, not just her, other women. I wonder who she's talking about. We know. And then she posted, don't start a fight unless you are willing to face the consequence if you lose the fight. <laughs> I'm not even gonna, how ironic that sounds. That's very interesting. Anyway, don't start the fight unless you're willing to face the consequences if you lose. Hmm. You guys lost and you're not willing to face consequences. You don't want to pay. You're willing to face consequences. You don't want to face the music. So it's really backwards. Um, I'm tired of people wanting me off to be tired of, okay, okay, to get over my life, please stop telling me to get on with all the things. It's not that simple. I am tied up to the case. So she's been saying a lot over and over. Mm. And that is about it. And then some other person said, in a few weeks, this was posted on the 19th of June. In a few weeks, we are, throwing him and Eve and Ember, I mean, not Ember herself, but the minions. This guy said, in a few weeks, we are publishing a report on a single purpose hate account, which I think they're talking about tar targeting Amber. That report will be followed by a report on the widespread policy violations on YouTube. I think the report was to say his name, post a picture of him, which is very, very shady. Very, very shady and shitty and just and just evil. And it's not illegal. It's not illegal. But people are reporting her on Twitter. I already did. Um, because what she did is not, per se, it's not illegal, but it's not, it violates, um, it's called doxing and it violates Twitter rules. Uh, that she posted a picture of him and his real name and say that he was an abuser and he was harassing a girl during the, on his therapist job. I mean, things that shouldn't even be repeated. That's what I don't want to even say. Okay, so the guy on the 19th of June, I already, he already tweeted this. So he already posted this on Twitter. So obviously there has been a coordinated moment right before June 24th, which is the day that they all have to go back to court and face the music and get the, you know, pay paid up. Uh, so they're trying really hard to smurd. Uh, Johnny's name cannot be smurred anymore because he won that battle, but they're trying to get on the YouTube and the journals, she called it, just like she called people uh, randos. So now she's calling the, the YouTube people journals. <laughs> what, what is that? Um, and then this same guy, Christopher Berry, Something like that. Um, he posted Umbrella Guy's real name, which I'm not going to say it again because it's not necessary. It's not effective. And he doesn't like that. Um, and then he said, ta -da -ta -da -ta, Tug earns about a million dollars a year. Okay. Dr. Evil, one million dollars. This is so dumb. A million dollars a year. By producing low-budget YouTube videos about Amber Heard, imagine earning that much money publishing low-budget rambly ramble fuckery. That is not a living. That's like they're trying to say that that's not a real job. And what is a real job? Like, what is it? Like being the girlfriend of this of this, you know, um, 
Starlet, pseudo, not that good movie star, and just being there and 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 being a feminist and an activist. Is that a job? Is that a job? I don't know. Is that a job? Last time I checked, that wasn't a job. That was that's a choice to be an activist and to be bisexual and to be a single mother, or whatever you want to call it. It's a choice. It's not a job. So Eve, that's not a job. So for her to talk shit about how tug you know the people make money on youtube which is valid because they're working um it's really shady like she should not have she, who is she to talk anyway so the name is there and a picture of him is there i thought that was just so but you know i'm not surprised i expect it from these people and that uh, he allegedly makes a million dollars a year um were you aware that so-called YouTube journals, like the Rendos journals, like that umbrella guy, make that much in capital letters, million dollars per year, making that bullshit and obsessively posting videos about Amber, her family, and Amber's friends, including me! Exclamation point. Where he's coming? Is that an honest way of making a living to you? He's about to move on onto Evan Roger Wood. Yes! And he knows. I mean, she knows it. We know it. She knows it. Um, this was actually her first Twitter. I am reading them backwards, of course. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to read it again. Were you were aware, were you aware that so-called YouTube journals like that umbrella guy make that much money as me a million dollars per year, making a bullshit and obsessively posting videos by Amber, her family and friends, including me? Is that an honest living to you? He's about to move on onto Evan Roger Wood. That's, that, that's, that's, as Ryan Borner will say. That's, you know, when somebody writes like that, it's like just people that are ill write like that, like this, or teenagers, you know, dot, 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 dot. <laughs> anyway, he's about to move onto Evan Roger Wood. Yeah, we're about to. And that's nothing that people can do about it because freedom of speech. Amber, right? That's the one thing that she fought so hard for and that's the one thing that she's bullying everybody about. It's so ironic. And that is about it. Those are a fight unless you're willing to face the consequences of the fight if you lose the fight. That's pretty much what they're doing. So that's like projection, big time. I'm going to go before an hour because nobody's here and I'm just going to leave this because I promise I was just going to get here and it's mostly, even if nobody watches it, mostly for me, I feel like it needs to be, it needs to be talked about. I know he doesn't need the signatures, okay, it's tug, but it will be a good thing for you to go and sign the petition to keep him on YouTube because that's going to show them what's going on even if that's not, necess not, not necessary technically to keep it on youtube but um she even has to be i don't know for life or not but her account should be suspended because what she did is called doxing d-o-x-i-n-g and it's pretty much what she did posting a picture of somebody who doesn't want a picture of themselves posting their real name somebody else post his address his work, what he does for a living, which is something that he said before, but not the details and all these lies. Um, so that is pretty much something that Twitter can look through and be like, oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. And maybe maybe suspend her. Uh, but still, like they're going to find a way to come back and they're going to find bots and all the minions to go on Twitter and keep talking shit about YouTube. So I don't think that suspend be suspended um, by Twitter is going to be something that is going to stop Amber um, and the minions. But anyway, um, that's about it. That's just madness. And that was all in one day, which was yesterday. <laughs> I have to make my tea, my sleepy tea, and go to sleep because I work half the night and then I go to sleep. And I'm going to get up tomorrow and probably get in here and start watching stuff. And hopefully it's going to be a positive day and not full of hate and paranoia and ignorance as Eve 
she's you know she made the day she just like she freaking ruined the day for everybody like she really did there's all the ways there's all the ways that she could have say the same thing and express the same thing without without asking you to 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 shut him down you know she could have said something like i am tired of this guy i feel i'm upset i'm taking it personal i'm tired of this guy talking shit about us whatever but for her to just do the whole you two has to shut him down and be against freedom of speech i think it's funny that's about it so it is about him and it's about all the people too but truth is true and um there's nothing i don't recognize what she said i, I didn't read it and we're like oh oh shoot she might be right he had a problem when he was working as a mental health worker with this person she's right no and i don't think anybody thinks that maybe those two thousand people that signed the petition two thousand people is nothing and there's nothing to worry about really but um it's shitty um uh, it's expected yes especially now because they're about to go to court again to make the payment i don't think it's gonna happen but you still, even if you're not going to make the payment, you still have to go and show up. Remember, Judge Penny said, on the 24th, I will see you guys on the 24th. Oh, my God, I look so tired. I'm going to go, and I'm just going to leave this out there for kicks, pretty much, so I remember what I said. And I'm going to come back. I really don't want to talk about Amber anymore. I want to talk about Evan because that's what I know a lot of the Manson situation and I want to talk about Evan and the other ladies they're, they're all the other accusers and victims quote unquote so please like let's just let's just give this a rest I really every time that we try to give it a rest and like people like Andy from Popcorn Planet he's talking about Gabby Petito the girl who got murder he's talking about all the things Ezra Miller and then this happens and then it's Amber Heard all over again because she won't rest Man, she won't rest the case and she's throwing a tantrum using this person. Uh, the fact that Eve, uh, I guess it ain't Harlow, Eve Balo is so offended because Tug seemed, and all the people invented the, the nickname Eve Fartlow. I'm going like, you know, there's worse things you can be called. You can be called abuser, you can be called monster, um, cunt, fat old man wash up joke in the industry <laughs> you can be called all those names so fart low ain't that bad now oh, it's my leg my leg hurts so i'm gonna go and that's about it that's what i have to say about eva and the twitter manic posting that she really if i don't know any better i'll be like she is ill but i don't think she's ill i think amber is ill um I don't think Eve Barlow is ill. I think Eve Barlow knows exactly what she's doing. And uh, she can get petitions all she wants and signatures all she wants. It is not going to work because the truth, you just can't stop the truth. You really can't. You can disagree with it. You know, it's a free free country. You can say, hey, I don't like that umbrella guy. I disagree with him. And he sucks, whatever. But to post his work details and his address and his name and his picture um just because she got called fart low because that's pretty much what she's <laughs> that's pretty much her problem is throwing a tantrum and like how old is eve like 40 years old or something like that and like girl like that is not so bad eve fart low it's not so bad like i like i just said you can be called monster fat old man washed up Joke of the industry, abuser, wife beater. Those are names that you should be afraid of being people calling you those names. Those are disgusting, horrible names that people made up. Fart low, it's not that bad. I'm going to go, but that's about it. I can just go dwell on it because there's nothing else. And I hope there's nothing else tomorrow. Um... And there's just, you know, tomorrow will be just positive and good stuff and lives and just talking to people and going to, you know, to listen to him and all the people and just kind of like let this 
disappeared. But it's hard because she just keep coming back. Just like a leech or something, you know? I mean, I'm not calling her a leech, but I don't know. It, I feel like anybody that I talk to, YouTube people, Instagram people, strangers, people at work, tell me like, oh my God, can we move on? I don't want to, I don't want to hear about Johnny anymore. Like they don't even want to hear about Johnny. Like they're not Johnny haters, but they're like, they're done. They're done. Johnny won, Amber lost. That's all that matters. They don't want to hear about the details. They don't want to hear about the money. They don't want to hear about the interviews. They don't want to hear about Twitter. They don't. They want to, you know, they want to get on somebody else and just like make videos or, um, or podcasts or whatever about somebody else, you know, like Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt. I'm not going to do that because I don't think they, they're interesting. But somebody somebody can do that. And uh, Evan and Manson, which is, which is my thing, been doing that for a year and a half. I want to focus on that, even if it's to make little videos and kind of make fun of the whole thing. I read every court filing against Manson. I read them all. And let's get on that, man. Like, let's seriously go sign the petition to not get uh, YouTube, to not to not get YouTube to suspend or to shut up um, his channel. It's not going to happen. But go sign it anyway so we can send a message. And after that, um, I will, I think that, um, we should stop unless it gets worse. It, it's really, it, it's exhausting to talk, to, to, to do, to put energy on them, Eve, Ember. It's, 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 it's exhausting. I know it's needed because it's news and I feel like if it's not talked about, I feel like they're winning. But, it's, but I really hope that after maybe by July, or August, this thing just fades away and we can just go back to talk about fun people. Amber is not. All right, good night. Um, I'm gonna close this. I know how to close it. I'm just really, really tired. Oh yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's Friday, so I thought it was a good idea. And I'm going to make a video about the nonsense that Ever Richard Wood posted on her Instagram, which I think is gonna be funny. So it's not going to be dark and it's not going to be sexual assault and talking about all that. But um, <laughs> I think it needs to be republished or repeated or talked about because she is freaking mental. Um, and I'm I'm not, I'm just not going to say anymore. But it's so mental. It's just, it's just so odd. The mental gymnastics that this feminist have to go through in order to have all of us you know, make all of us misogynist pigs, chauvinistic pigs, and all that. Do they really think that we are? Like, you know, I always wonder with them, especially with Rachel Wood, because I'm going to call her Rachel, because I know she doesn't like it. But she keeps saying Brian, so. Um, does she really think that this is having any effect on her? Does she really is so scared and so paranoid and so weak as a victim that she is afraid like really like if you had a good case as a victim uh, you have documents and pictures and your own story is heavy enough why are you so pressed why are you so salty um amber is salty but evan is being really salty the stuff that she is posted on instagram is like passive aggressive um but we know who she's talking about Okay, I'm going to go, and I hope this is, like, listenable, watchable later. Um, just pretty much for me um, to support. Um, I'm always I'm always talking, I'm hashtagging Tug as much as I can because every time we talk about him and about um, the, this, the censorship, um, what these people wanted to, wanted to do is really worth to talk about. Every single person counts. Just like every signature counts. I'm not worried about the amount of signatures that she's getting to shut them down. But anyway, go sign it. Uh, just do it. Have a good night. And I'm going to go. My cat is giving me a dirty look. Like, can we just go see? I know. I seem like I'm 
hyper, but I'm actually really tired and I get like second win. Because um I wanna get I wanna I made a video about about Tug and it got like like twenty thousand videos or something like that. And, and I know it was about it because it is because of the moment when he was mentioned in court in the court. And then um I think that was really cool. He was mentioned Marilyn Manson, the boogeyman was mentioned a couple of times in court. So I think that there's a way to relate everything and, and, and slowly fade away from Ember and concentrate on Manson, Alan Waldman, getting back on Twitter, get Manson back on Instagram, you know, see he to feel for him to feel safe enough to post. I know his wife was posting, but for him to be you know, loved and, su and supported. He knows, and um, he knows. And I'm not worried about Mason. I'm really not. Um, just like I'm not worried about Johnny anymore. I'm worried about this BS. People shutting people down because people chose to express themselves and change the narrative. And you're losing control and you're throwing a tantrum and freaking out. I want to keep saying I can't believe it, but I actually do believe it. Anyway, have a good night and take care of yourselves because you deserve it. And do not lie, especially in court. Don't be like them. Not like you are, but just, just well, I think we all have to learn from this. Not to, and I know women do it, and I know women do it more than men. And that's the meat and potatoes of this. So think don't lie get help get real help don't gossip don't destroy somebody's life because you think they might groom you maybe they abuse you like just the, there is no maybe either it happened or it didn't happen to you so that's kind of what i want to talk about on evan because that is the the jits of it it's really completely different i know people keep comparing it it's not the same than ember is um it's different because the allegations are it, it is different um the whole thing i was a minor even if she wasn't and all that is very different i mean she made a documentary about him <laughs> so it's already you know very um it's very different even if because it came out at the same time in, in the Me Too 2016, 2018, 2017, and 2018 was a nightmare with all the times up, I'm not okay, hashtag times up, Me Too. So Evan and Amber and all the people were doing it at the same time. And um, they seem to have, kind of have like a loose friendship, not an important one, but um, I think that. They're related to the point that well, they're both use their sexuality, their queerness as a weapon. Um, the activism. Besides that, they're they're different. I do think that Evan doesn't have a personality, um, and that's something I'm gonna talk about it later. And that's something that I know about a bit, and I can talk about that more than law. I don't know the law. But I know common sense when I see it, and um, hopefully tomorrow, just the twenty fourth, they're gonna just gonna they're gonna go there and pay up, um, Johnny, pay up or not pay up, but have something to say about it. It's time to pay up, you know, because um, if it was the other way around and she won and he lost, he would have to pay it up. So it's the right thing to do. But Eve Barlow, go on Twitter, look at that stuff. It really is going to make your soul puke <laughs> if you haven't. Because ridiculous. Good night. Somebody's watching, but I have to go. And, and it, it seems like it goes laggy and a little bit um, laggy and just... I don't know what's going on with um with YouTube. Every time that people talk about this, it just gets something gets funny. So I'm going to stop here and I'm gonna to go to bed. And thank you if you're watching now. Thank you if you will watch later. I think this is important. Everybody counts. One view, one like. Everybody counts because this cannot happen. Okay, we are not in the 19 you know 40s. We cannot tell people what to talk about and what to do. We are free to call people a nickname 
um, that is not crossing the line, fart low, it's not that bad. Like I said, you can be, you know, you can be called a wife beater. That will be bad. Thank you.